Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf here at the Second Swing Tour event at Minnetonka, joined by Emma Carpenter, member of the Minnesota women's golf team. And today is gonna be a very interesting video because I have made my way back to the clearance club section to find some classics from back in the day. Uh, <laughs> these were, well, the, for one, they've been used kind of a lot as you can see, but uh, they were also popular back in the day. So we've got a seven iron, we've got a driver, and then we've got a three wood. And we're just gonna have Emma hit a few shots with each and kind of give her feedback on how some of these clubs may have played way back in the day. So uh, first one I'm going to kind of show you here is a Titleist 975 F3 wood. And the very interesting thing about this one is that it has an X100 dynamic gold steel shaft in it and oh a very boy. old Warren grip as well. Oh boy, that'll so be fun. That'll be a fun one to test. Um, I don't anticipate any of these really going super well because... Oh, thanks Drew. Well, I'm, <laughs> and that was not a shot at your golf swing. That was a shot at the golf club. Uh, Callaway, Big Bertha, Warbird, Driver. The Big Bertha. The Big degrees. Bertha, Driver. That was also a big time popular club. I don't know, probably, um, someone in the comments can correct me, but probably 30 years ago. And then uh, also, Ping I2 7 iron. I got the kind of the, the copper finish on it as well. Very popular iron model way back in the day. Kind of the first time there was really a cavity back iron design mm, was this really? one. So. Ping I2, 7-iron. And so those are the three clubs. We're just going to kind of have you, you know, hit them. And, and if you want, you can also compare maybe to your, your actual gamer clubs. But yeah, um, like... what do you, I mean, looking at these clubs, does it give you any initial thoughts or of, of kind of how uh, I mean, clubs look today or how they perform today versus maybe back then? Totally. Well, obviously, first of all, I said to you, like, oh, is this a three-wood? You're like, no, this is a driver. Yeah. So yeah, that's right. the first thing. I mean, the head is is a lot smaller. We're used to seeing these massive driver heads now that we just mm -hmm. swing super hard and the face is gigantic. So this will be just interesting. I, I just feel like the dispersion, like the misses with this are just going to be so much worse. Right. Maybe if I hit a good one, we can get one going straight. I'm, I'm, but... Yeah, I, I don't anticipate your uh, off-center hits. Or just, be, or yeah, oh that's going to be interesting to see. No um, kidding. No kidding. But I, I, this is also a different look, as you can see. Like, it's just different shape. Yeah. Something you've probably never really seen before. But yeah. um, I'm, I'm curious what's going to happen here as yeah, someone at your too. level with your golf swing um, to hit all these clubs. So how do you want to do this? Do you want to go driver first or do you want to go iron first? Let's, let's go iron first. We'll okay. work our way up. Perfect. Work let's our way do it. The bag. All right. It looked like a good swing. Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Oh. <laughs> what is that? What does not, that mean? Not that good. Holy well, moly. Okay, so first of all, let's. Um, so your gamer seven iron yeah. is what is it? It's a Mizuno something, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mizuno um, hot metal, I think. Yes, yes, okay. it is. Mizuno and JPX hot metal. Exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what? I guess give us a, an idea of the the distance and, and you know, yeah I usually one. I actually my seven iron um usually carries about 172 really yeah yeah I would I mean the they're obviously they're strong lofted yeah, yeah. but definitely um the irons uh I would say I, I can carry my irons pretty far okay but so but I mean I noticed the smash on that one was a little low I actually swung it pretty fast like I swung that's what I would about. I would That's kind of what your seven irons. Seven irons yeah, okay. like close to eighty-five. Um, so it's. I mean, and, and I'm looking at here. We've got. I can just actually. I'll bring it up here. I have um, the, sorry, the impact location here, and you hit it pretty darn close to the center. Yeah. So it's it's just funny that right away you looked at that and you're like, you, what is that for a seven iron? And it's because the club probably went. I don't know, 20 yards shorter than what you would be used to with yeah. that kind of swing? Yeah, well, you can see the smash is really low. I hit it in the center, but the ball speed wasn't very high. Yeah, and I think, you know, I think that's probably going to be a common thing with this iron, given no what you're, compared to what you're hitting. No kidding, no kidding, okay. That was better. That was definitely a little bit better, I think. Oh, yeah, some ball, more ball speed there. Oh, no! Okay, so that was actually hit a lot better. Yeah. Carry 165. It's just the. So do you went, normally hit a draw with the irons like that? Not that big of a not draw. That big of a draw? Okay. <laughs> so it's interesting that did you did your first one feel like it was that bad contact? I thought the first one was going to be. I mean, the so first it looked one, like. I mean, I was I was I showed you where the impact location. Yeah, was, it felt it was a little. Close. It felt a little. Is the attack angle any different? So that one was 3.7. Yeah, uh, yeah 3.7 to 3.6. No, they're the same. Oh. I don't know. That one That one definitely felt like... Oh. I mean, they're two good golf swings. It's just yeah. weird that the you you missed the center of the face by a fraction, and it was 
your ball went from 149 carry to what 164 carry well and how come the yeah huh so yeah here's the carry distance and then here's the total well again you know like that's what that's the thing about lots of irons more nowadays or can be a lot more forgiving yeah you oh, know? totally yeah that's, i'm not gonna lie the face yeah, and of this my... was forgiving for that time yeah so. <laughs> I bet this one yeah i bet it was i bet it was Totally. All right, let's hit one more. Okay. Get a, a, a third kind of number in here and see what happens. Okay. Oh, that was a little healy. It'll go straight, uh -oh. but it's healy. No, straight. That's not going straight. <laughs> what am I talking about? Yeah, you're right about that being healy. I'll show this quick. Yeah. So that's a little bit down there. Um, huh. Okay. So we've got the lefts going with the, uh, <laughs> the I2. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let me try one more. I mean the 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 golf swing the golf shot looks good a nice yeah. high kind of tiny draw hmm. it's just the distance what's really interesting is how wide that distance dispersion is exactly your, your, your best swing here went 171 total yards but that swing seemingly a good one right I mean, right yeah you hit it pretty yeah. solid it's at 158 and then you got like a slight miss at 154 yeah. so that's kind of like it it speaks to me it's like it's like back when you know golfers 40 30 years ago yeah they had to be pretty darn dialed yeah so well, and they didn't have obviously access yeah. to this technology too right 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 so it was so different yeah i'm sure larry's told you a story about back in the day when he club fit or fit people for clubs and it was more about going on the range and watching the ball fly versus obviously using any launch monitor of any kind um we but did yeah a, we we did a podcast with a pga tour pro who's been on the tour for for mm -hmm. years and he said on the podcast, like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm kind of newly learning about club pass and club face and what that all means. And I'm like, what? Like, that's kind of how I learned to play. Yeah. Like, so to think that, like, it's so, at least for him and for a lot of other people, I'm sure, who, you know, didn't have access to this kind of technology, this TrackMan simulators that hasn't been around all that long. Right. Like, they're, they're feeling everything. Mm -hmm. Everything is all, like, feel and what what they have to feel to produce a certain shot with a club that's a lot harder to hit than clubs nowadays. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah. makes me feel like I'm so bad. Like it's like, come on, you got access to everything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's, I, to me, it's like we here we have a Division One player who hits the ball really well, and then we hit four seven irons, and that dispersion. Yikes. Again, it's not like you're sweet. You didn't swing it poorly. It was no. just you slightly miss one, like a fraction of a of an inch here, fraction of an inch there on the face, and it, that's how big the dispersion is. So. Um, no kidding. All right, this is where that's probably I, I will say up front here. That's probably the easiest club you're going to hit in this video. Oh, awesome, Drew. That sounds um, because great. Because the next one here is this three wood with that <laughs> that X100 dynamic gold steel shaft in it. The uh, X100 dynamic gold steel shaft. All right. I will say I think I'm confident you have the swing speed to get this off the ground. I but, appreciate the confidence, but, but it's going to be. Oh, I'm very intrigued by what oh happens. Oh boy. Oh, I don't actually, know if I'm going to do a whole lot better than that. Ripped. I mean, <laughs> granted, okay, I'm sure your three wood goes a lot farther than that. It, but. it does, <laughs> but I would, I mean, I would take that. At least I would, I don't know, my three wood, I mean, I play my three wood to go about 240 total. Yeah, okay. Which is what that was. Oh, really? Okay. So but the I interesting mean, thing, too, it carries a little further. is that these clubs, all actually, I think all three of these were built for, I guess, performance for the old Bellata ball which was a softer and spun a lot more. Yeah. So that's something to note is like, probably with three, this three wood and probably with the driver that we're gonna hit too, the ball is gonna go low and probably knuckle a little bit, yeah. kind of like that, but. When it depends, it depends on what kind of game you play too, of what you're looking for. Like for me, I like a lower spinning three wood because yeah. if I'm ever hitting it, it's either I'm hitting it off a tee to, um, to get a little less distance than a driver to like lay up to something or maybe hit a little straighter. Yeah. I suppose you probably use it more that way versus cause like it's rarely where you have like a par five problem. You're probably long well, enough for that's, par fives. Well, that's the thing. Like or something. If, if I have where I'm hitting three wood into a par five, like I sh I'm trying to chase it up there as far as I possibly can yeah. where like, you know, if like some people who hit it a, a little bit shorter off the tee where say they maybe have like hybrids or maybe even a three wood into a par five, they want something a little yeah. higher and softer that has a better chance yeah, of right. holding a green. If I hit three wood into a green, like I'm just trying to get it to run as far as yeah, possible. Sure. Like not necessarily like land. Yeah, just the way stop. you use the three woods different. I mean, cause also like 
some of these golfers that you're referring to might be shorter off the tee. They might have par fours where they need to exactly. work into it, you know, and they need to land it on there. You, exactly. You're rarely in that scenario. I exactly. Imagine, so. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually. I mean, it's pretty good. Oh, I'm surprised you hit. I mean, that's a really good swing for that club. Thanks, Drew. I, I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> I'm surprised. Here. I'm surprised. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. You're chirping me. I might just throw this in the bag. You know. You if never you threw know. that in the bag and played in the tournament, that would be. <laughs> if I pulled up to a tournament with all like really old clubs, yeah, do you think this that driver people would be and then that three wood, that set all of right. irons. Yeah. Let's not get too excited. That was okay. just one swing. We'll try it again. Oh, it's low, but it's like solid. I swear. That is some ball speed, actually. Wow. Okay, maybe <laughs> this actually should be your three wood. <laughs> Come on. That's maybe this should be your three wood. That's so funny. That's <laughs> that is actually smoked. <laughs> That's again. So this funny. is a Titleist nine seven five F three wood, fourteen and a half degrees, with an X one hundred dynamic gold shaft in it. Um, which is typically, that's, that's the shaft model I have in my irons right now. Maybe you are master club fitter already, no, no, Drew. No. <laughs> fitting me, fitting me in the, uh, in this three wood. I think wood. Larry would yell at me for like 20 minutes straight if I recommended this on a, you know, with a serious tone. I didn't get all that, but I swung a little harder. I, it looks like you hit it okay. That's so funny. Yeah, not too bad. So I think this dispersion, I mean, that's a good dispersion. <laughs> Thanks, dispersion Drew. smaller than the seven iron dispersion. <laughs> wow. Something about it, I guess. I actually thought, I for sure thought that was going to be the, the worst, the the worst, worst club of the three. Um, but all right, that's pretty, uh, pretty good. I don't think we need to see, see any more from that. All righty. All righty. Now get, we get to hit it off the tee. Callaway Big Bertha Warbird. <laughs> I have a feeling that I'm going to need to push this T down a little bit because, uh, yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, he that's... might. There, I think you can. I think you can push it down. Yeah. See, that's but... the T height that I have with my current driver mm, yeah, with, the, you know, work. the huge tall head where I, you know, feel like I can swing up and hold the face off and do yeah, whatever. I don't think, uh, I mean, you could try with that. No, I'm. Are you, are you kidding me? If I if I left that tee there, I'm not kidding. This ball might hit that yeah, those, light up those there. Those lights might be in trouble. Yeah. For everybody's safety. You haven't hit any either. This is it's bold. It just goes right in here. We're recording. We're right in without hitting this even off camera yet. But you can, <laughs> that, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. No no warmies today with the with the older clubs. Not bad? Question mark? Wow. No! Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, why was that so bad? Like, the club and face wasn't that bad. It actually, so when I saw the, the, the tracer, it started going a little bit right. But I, I was like, oh, it's just going to draw back. And then it just snapped right. <laughs> oh, no. That's so funny. Yeah, we're, we're, I mean, oh, there's no trees over here. You're fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, right there. We're fine. Interesting. So that felt pretty good. Well, the face was, I mean... Path was square. The face was two degrees open. Yeah, you just and that again. This is completely it, different shaft. It's heavier. Like I, to first swing, come out and expect to square everything up is probably a you know unfair expectation. Uh, well, hey, if it's heavier, that means I can you know that means I can kind of try to hit a big draw and it shouldn't go too far left on me, right? I think. Sure. Sure. Is that a slight miss, maybe? No, no, it, no it was. It, it, the swing was good. It might have been a hit a little closer to the toe. Okay, I mean that works. Look, I mean it's. Again, we taught. We've there is another video that we have filmed um, that um, we tested her gamer gamer driver against another Titleist driver, and so the, her numbers are available on that video. But um, I know you can hit it up to 285 or so mm -hmm. with your gamer. So, and I don't ever expect this to get really that close to, to 285, but. It actually, you're hitting it out there pretty darn well. We'll take, I mean, that 225 carry, but. Well, right, that's, that's not, not. I know you want more than that. Yeah, than but I mean, if I can if I can get this club out there about 260, I would be pretty happy. Yeah. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll try one more. Hit this one a little bit closer. It's the smash factor. You see that? I don't get the oh, same yeah. ball speed that I did with and my you're probably driver. not going to. <laughs> oh, darn it. That's must go way right compared to what happened to the other one. That actually stayed. That was kind of stayed. 
Oh, that carried further. I'm actually very surprised because you right away hated that. And actually, the, the ball speed's very low compared to what I've seen yeah. from you. It was just a little bit higher, so it yeah. carried a little further. And it, had, and it didn't have much spin, which helped to kind of stay in the air and, and penetrate through the air a little bit. Yeah. Here, let me. I'll Here's our dispersion. OK. That's a tight fairway. It is. It <laughs> yeah. is. OK, let's see if I can get one more. With the big Bertha. Oh, that's going to go left. Looks like with some speed, though, yeah. Ooh, okay. 265. <laughs> it's pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. All right. So here's our carries dispersion, right? And if I go total, there we go. That's pretty darn good. I mean, I did not expect these the numbers here to be as good as they were in, in, with all three of the clubs, honestly. Uh, but especially <laughs> the, the two woods. That's really good up here. I'm just going to go look at some numbers here quick and... Yeah, that <laughs> one four two smash with a dri I mean with a driver. It's uh, funny that you're actually more efficient with the three wood. <laughs> one four five. <laughs> Typically that's not the case. It's flipped around, but that's funny. That's funny. But <laughs> I mean, I'm actually I was pleasantly surprised too. I definitely didn't think never if you if you said to me how far do you think you could hit this big berth, I'd say 220. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't have said 265 <laughs> well, I have said with the 260. last ball. This, I would not have said 265. Yeah. Well, I think it, it speaks to if you got if you have a really good golf swing, play a lot of golf, you know what you're you know what you're doing a little bit. You can you can use a lot of different clubs. Mm -hmm. You can get yourself a backup set at second swing with the clearance rack, and you're going to be just fine. <laughs> um, now, granted, we're always going to recommend getting fit and you know uh, getting to the latest technology that works for your budget, but. This is pretty good for the older clubs. I mean, these were a lot of, I mean, these are at least 20, if not 30 or 40 year old clubs and you were hitting them pretty darn well, actually. So, well, we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. it. It's definitely, it's fun to take a, I can't say a trip down memory lane cause I wasn't alive, but it's, it's Fair fun point. to take a, uh, to take a, like a little history, yeah. history lesson here. Yeah, exactly. Look at some really old golf clubs. I mean, especially like, some of these, like I've I've heard of, I've yeah. known of. Just it wasn't. I mean, it was a long time ago, but also not that long ago. It's just crazy how much technology has yeah. evolved over the last decade or so. So lot, lots of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. Um, so that also speaks to exactly what our selection is like at Second Swing. We have everything from the latest stuff to 20, 30, 40 years old if you really want it. So uh, stop by a Second Swing store or shop online for any golf club you're looking for, we probably have it. So uh, Emma, thanks for joining and, and swinging these clubs. Probably not something you really anticipated ever doing, but pretty good, pretty good stuff here. <laughs> thanks, Drew. Yeah, no, it, it was a ton of fun, really.